All right, guys, it is 10 p.m. and I am at the Luxor, right? Now, I'm hungry. Time to get something to eat. And I heard that there is a fish and chip spot between the Luxor and the Mandalay Bay. Located between, like, there's a walking path between the two. So let's see, where's the walking path? It's over here, I'm guessing. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh no, I'm wrong. You know what, man? They make these casinos like, you know, so people get lost all the time. All right, so maybe it's that way. All right. Arr. All right, guys, I found it. Here it is. All right, all right. So, I understand that this place here called the Ri Ra, right? has been imported from Ireland stone by stone. It's like they brought in the Irish pub, like literally they brought it in and recreated it. So, I don't know, I hope the money uh, was spent well, you know, well spent money. Because if you, you know, spend that kind of money to bring over a building, you know, it's like, what was that? It could be like maybe $3 million to bring the building over. And well, that's a lot of money. And who's going to be paying for that? Me, the consumer. So, but it's been a long time. I hope they spread it out over the many, many decades. So, fish and chips, guys. Fish and chips. It doesn't look like they imported it stone by stone. I mean, like this could be just a facade for anything else. Let's go ask the employees. Hi. Hi. So is this the place that they, they said the whole Irish pub was imported from Ireland like bit by bit? Yes. Oh, okay. One, please. All right, I am now seated inside Ri Wa, right? Now, this place, they have a live band, like, you know, and uh, wow, it is super loud. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, so the waitress came and I ordered the fish and chips like I wanted, but out of curiosity, I did ask her, I said, hey, is there anything over here that everyone really loves? And she recommended these eggs over here, right? So, let's check it out. Oh, thank you. Ooh. So, yeah, the deviled egg, and on the outside is going to be a pork sausage banger, and then around that is going to be panko breadcrumbs, and then they fry it, cut it open, pipe the deviled eggs back in there, and then you're good to go. Wow. They look, it looks great. Oh, thank you. The eggs, guys. Let's give it a try. Guys, I have never, ever had anything like this before in my life. And it is so good. 
I'm gonna have to give it a 10. First time I had it, and it's a 10. Wow, guys. It's like the crispy exterior got, you know, like little bits of sausages in it or something. Amazing, guys. It is so rich and flavorful that you should come with a group of uh, a total of four people, order this, and each have a half an egg. That's all you need. Like if you eat all four of these, like I was hungry, I, I ate like two and a half, and already I'm, I'm feeling full because it's so rich. Now, that being said, Fridays here at Riva, Locals get 40% off for the local people. Bring your Nevada ID. Voila. Yes, guys. Fridays. Nice. And uh, she also gave me this bread. All right, the first thing I'm gonna try is the French fry. Seven point five for the French fries. It's like a real fry. Pretty good. All right. And so now I will try. I mean, like it's a real fry. You know, pretty good. Right? It doesn't beat McDonald's fries. It's hard to beat McDonald's fries, but these are real fries. Rachel just said they cut them here and they make them here. Okay, now I'm going to try the fish. First, the fish without the fried batter thingy on top.
Seven. It is a very neutral tasting fish. Not very fatty. You know, it's like, you know how some fish are fatty and it got that texture? This is a, a little bit lean. I know it's like uh, you don't usually hear fish talked about that way, like lean fish, fatty fish. But it is a thing. And this fish is a little bit lean. But uh, it's okay. So, like a, like a seven. You know, like a seven. Now, including the breading or batter. It is extremely neutral tasting. It's like this fish of the fish and chips would actually be like how how you would like it would be what you put with it. For example, if you are a huge fan of Heinz tomato ketchup, you put that on there, it would just be the taste of the Heinz tomato ketchup, right? So over here I got tartar sauce. And then another dipping sauce over here, which I forgot what, what they called it. But let's see. Let's taste the dipping sauces because that's what it's going to be all about. You know, it doesn't have much flavor all on its own. Okay, the orange colored sauce. I don't know. It tastes like whiskey or something. I like the tartar sauce. Not very vinegary. It's pretty creamy. Now, Heinz tomato ketchup. The ketchup is where it is at, guys. All right, so let's dip the fish in ketchup. All right, it tastes like ketchup. Very good. Like this bread that she gave me earlier, right? This has a taste all its own. And when you dip it in the ketchup, you taste both of these. I'll try the fish one more time. Well, there you have it, guys. A very neutral tasting fish and chips. All right. But man, I'm sure glad I ordered that advertiser, that egg thing. Again, this is it. So surprise. I guess next time I come here, you know, I mean, like, I have had better tasting fish and chips elsewhere where the fish got some fish flavor and things like that, you know, but... Those egg things, terrific. So, thanks for watching the video of me over here at Riwa, an Irish pub that they imported from Ireland, little bit by little bit. Wow, guys. All right. And remember, New Vegas videos every Friday.